Hi guys, today's vlog is about my recent experience designing and printing a fabric with Contrado. So Contrado are a London based company who allow you to submit a design via their website and print it on a range of different fabrics. So this is their swatch pack um, and you can see there is a wide selection of fabric bases. They do knits and woven fabrics and they do all sorts of different weights. So I selected for this project their crepe which isn't really nice. Um, reasonably lightweight drapey fabric but they also have some really uh, heavier weights so they've got quite a thick neoprene for example they've got some upholstery type fabrics um, and they've got everything in between as well so um, you can order one of the swatch packs from the website if you want to have a mooch through and decide before you commit to ordering anything um, so other than selecting the fabric base obviously the next difficult decision when you're um, printing your own fabric is to select a design so the initial idea from, from my design came from this Prada skirt which I saw um, in a shop window when I was in Amsterdam last year. So if you can see that. So it's a comic book style design on a white fabric with um, black illustrations. So that had stuck in my head having seen it some time ago now. Um, and when I was given the opportunity by Contrado I decided to, that was the basis of um, the design I wanted to go with. So. Um, I am a comic fan anyway, and I've got lots of bits of comic art in the house. Um, so I decided to go back through, in particular, my old scrapbooks from many years ago, um, where I knew I'd kept some favourite bits of comic art. So I spent some time uh, picking through different illustrations from comic books that I'd got in my scrapbooks and going through comics to select a range of images. Um, so these are some of the ones I use. So this is a, a an old Plastic Man comic by Jack Cole, um, which was has been ripped out of my scrapbook, um, which had um, this great femme fatale in it. So that's the femme fatale in question. Um, so that was one of the images I chose. Then uh, I also, so, so my old scrapbook, we've got all sorts of things in there. They've got comic art, they've got tickets for gigs and plays that I saw. Um, they've got things I drew, photographs, uh, you know, articles ripped out of newspapers and magazines, all sorts of Chuckle Brothers right there. Um, but one of the things that was in this one was an old Namor comic, so Submariner. So that was another um, piece of comic art that I went back to as part of this project um, and I think there was something this so this is another scrapbook of mine um, which I, so yeah you can see the kind of thing that my scrapbooks had in them so there's photos tickets nice um, pictures I've ripped out magazines all sorts of things um, and this is another one that also had so it's comic art in there as well or an illustration art in that case um, so yeah, so I had good fun going back through all these old scrapbooks, um, finding images to use, and then I also uh, googled for some of the images as well. So where I couldn't find um, images of certain comic characters um, in the house that were suitable, um, I went online and found some additional images as well. So that was the starting point. So um, once I selected my images, I uploaded them into the computer, and then I did my editing within Adobe Illustrator. Um, and I used image trace function in order to modify the images so that they became black and white line drawings and so that I could resize them so they were all of comparable scale. So here's an example, so I brought one of my images in, I used the image trace option in order to modify that to a black and white line drawing and then there's some presets within Illustrator that I used to get the look that I was going for. So once I had my image file ready um, you then go through to Contrado website and you can um, choose to look at the fabric printing options and you can go through and see the full list of fabrics that they offer. So you can browse through, I think there were 103 at that point when I was on the website, um, but if you have a swatch pack and know what you're interested in you can search within that. And then within an individual list and you can see at the top it tells you the full width of the bolt for that specific fabric. Um, and within the design upload view, again, you can also, so it'll automatically show custom dimensions, but you can select the full width, and again, you'll be able to check the full width of that bolt of fabric. 
So what I did in terms of my image was that I created an image file that was already the exact dimensions that I wanted to print. So that was just so that I could choose exactly where the images were placed and also it saved me needing to worry about how the image would tile with, with, within Contrado um, just in terms of my placement of the images. So I checked the full width of the crepe fabric, I sized my image file to that width and then I allowed the length um, to be two metres in, in my case um, so that I had enough for a dress. Um, and I used a PNG file to ensure that the quality would be sufficient. So once I had my image file ready, you upload via, via the Contrado website, um, and then it allows you to get a, some sense, it will give you a bit of a rating to tell you that the image file appears to be high enough quality, um, and it will allow you to see a bit of a design view of how the image will look, and it will show it you on a bottle fabric as well, so you can see that it is going to be, in my case, the full dimension of the fabric, but obviously um, if you're choosing custom dimensions, it will be part of that. Um, and that is one of the strengths of Contrado, that you can specify totally custom dimensions. So previously I've had a banner printed and I just decided exactly what size I wanted and um, created an image and uploaded for those specific dimensions. So this is the finished fabric. So you can see the drape, it's really nice. Um, you can see how the image is printed, so they're really clear. And actually, even where there was some quite small detail, like this text, it's, it's totally legible. So that's brilliant. Um, the one thing I did find, so it's, it's quite uh, relatively see-through, you probably can't tell there. Um, but this white, I, obviously if you printed a background colour rather than going with the plain white, that might be avoided. Um, but on the white it is a little bit see-through, although not too bad. Um, and the other thing I found was that you do have to be careful. So I washed this once before cutting out and sewing. Potentially it may be needed washing again. Um, but I ironed this on um, a reasonably high heat and the image transferred across. So I had... Um, say, you know, two pieces, right sides together like that, I ironed and the image from the one side transferred across to the other side of the fabric. So I would say to be careful in terms of ironing, um, you know, use a low heat and a press craft, certainly on this crepe fabric. So the pattern that I chose to um, use with my Condrado fabric was Megan Nielsen's Sudley dress. Um, and one of the reasons I chose the Sudley is that it is um, a fairly um, simple design without fastenings um, and fairly loose fitting so I thought it would be a good canvas for this print because there wouldn't there aren't darts for example in the bodice um, and one thing that I made sure to do was that when I was cutting out my fabric I uh, wanted to be really careful with the print placement so I lay the pattern pieces onto the fabric and then I trace around the outline rather than cutting um, directly around the pattern pieces so that I could see and check the placement before cutting out and in a couple of instances I altered the placement slightly before cutting. Um, and then in terms of the Sudley dress, so I've made it a couple of times before, it's a really versatile pattern because you, there's various, there's a top um, version, there's multiple uh, dress variations in the pattern um, so I went with the dress variation but I lengthened it so I went for a floor length version of the pattern rather than the standard length Fingers follow peaks of 